Hey everyone, Krista Moser here, designer of the Creative Grid 60 Degree Diamond Rulers. I'm here at Fat Quarter Shop today, and I'm gonna show you some of the cuts that this little ruler will do for the quilt behind me. That's Bumblebee Blossoms, one of my latest patterns. Here you see it. It uses ombre fabric. Well, at least that's the way I've designed it, but you could do anything. So what I've got here are some strip sets. Now, when you're cutting ombre fabric, it's printed light to dark. So I kind of utilized that. So I could get my flowers to have light centers and dark edges or dark centers and light edges. What I've got here is some strip sets and I've cut from, from the ombre fabric, light, medium and dark strips and then sewed some light and mediums together. And I pressed their seams opposite directions. So in one strip set, we've got it going to the right and one strip set, it's going to the left. That will be handy later. So let me show you how this works. I've got my strip set just like this. I'm gonna use this ruler now. I'm gonna use the triangle lines on the ruler. So that's anywhere from this midpoint on up. So I'm gonna turn this. So I've got my triangle lines, the four and a half inch line along the edge. In this case, it's the dark edge because I kind of want my flower to be dark at the outside edge. So I'm gonna cut. Take my little tip off. You may not want to cut that way. You can use a spinning mat if you want to cut over your hand like that. I'm taking the tip off. So my triangle piece here has three flat tips. That will be handy later. Now for a flower with a dark center and light at the outside, I'm gonna do this cut. So we're gonna do some of each. Always taking those tips off. There we go. To make one flower, we need six, six different cuts that are the same, the same coloring. So this one and this one will go together. This one will be another thing. Okay. Two stacks, that one and that one, and I'm going to do the last strip set just the same. You need six. The nice thing about these Creative Grids rulers is they're all manufactured with the grip on the underside, so they don't slide around. You put a little pressure on them and they just stay put. And for cutting angles, that's perfect because, you know, when we're cutting angles, we have our rotary cutter kind of leaned into the ruler a little bit, so it can, it has a tendency to want to move rulers, but not in this case. Okay. These ones will go in that stack. We're just going to focus on these ones. The dark, the dark is the outside edge, and I'm going to show you. Now, because I had cut from two different strips and I had pressed that seam different directions, we're just going to alternate these. So these seams will flip flop and nest. This gets me my center. Like that. We're not going to sew those together just yet, but you get the idea. Light center, we're going to the dark outside edges. So to get our outside outside edges, scoot these over. And from the darkest side of the strip, I cut a couple of strips from the dark edge. So this, I'll stack those up 
If you're not comfortable with stacking strips, then you can just cut through a single layer. Here we are again. I'm going to use the four and a half inch line and the two inch white dashed line. That's going to give me trapezoids, which will create kind of the scalloped edge around those flowers. Here we go. Everywhere I can, I'm taking this little tip off because it just makes the piecing later on so much more accurate. Let me turn the ruler. There we go. I just need one more cut, really. That will get us six pieces because I've got two layers here. pieces back over. So here, isn't this cute? Looks like the flower is just blooming light to dark on the outside edges. Now we're going to do some background cuts. Not too big. I've got a white, a white background here. So scoot that over again. Okay, from the background, just need some little cuts. I'm going to do my two and a half inch triangles. Those already have a flat tip because the edge of the ruler is flat. We'll do another one of those. Just like that. And we need a couple of diamonds too. So here are my two and a half inch diamond lines coming in from the side. Just like this. And one more. All right. Now you'll see how this works. So you're going to sew your blocks together in two halves. You'll have a piece here, diamond, diamond. So those three will go in a row. And because of these flat tips, you've got your perfect matchup point. You do your quarter inch seam there, and you press it open, and it comes out in a perfect row. I've got the same thing up here. And then for the middle section, you would put all three triangles together. You would sew your trapezoids on, and you're just gonna fill in this two triangles. Same thing. Back to that flat tip be really helpful. Just like this. So these three units, these come on and that joins them. Same story for the bottom half. These three and then the last piece. And you sew the center seam down the middle. And the whole thing comes out as a hexagon block. I've actually got one of those already sewn together here. So you can see how it comes out. Everything matches up. It's a hexagon. There's no Y seams in this pattern, so you don't have to freak out. What we're going to do to set off these flowers is some triangle units that will be leaves, and we'll cut those next. For the leaf blocks, I've got my green ombre fabric. Isn't this sweet? kind of an olivey green all the way to the light green. That'll give us some variety in our leaf colors. It's really fun to work with. So I've just got my strip here. Now I'm going to cut the end off at the 60 degree angle. So I don't have to cut off much more than the salvage, but I'm just going to place my ruler here are the edges and I'm just removing the salvage. I just need a good clean 60 degree angle line. 
like that. Now moving it up, and in this case, I'm going for the three and a half inch line. That's the diamond line there. And taking that little flat tip off, do another one of those. work my way down the strip always just watching that my diamond line is perfect with that angle if you ever have to do a cleanup cut it's not a big deal just retrim it the 60 and then it should fit if for some reason this doesn't look like it's lining up anymore it's pretty easy to adjust it so there we go I've got some long leaves now to set those off we need some background Set that here. This is just white. Now it's triangles. So here I am with my white triangles. I'm doing the three and a half inch line, the flat tip at the other end of the strip. Kind of like that. I just turn the ruler. All the way around that gets us another set and we have a flat tip on at least one corner here and this is an extra step but it is very helpful I'm just going to take the ruler and I'm going to go ahead and flatten the other two tips And you'll see why we'll do a stack of those okay so for the leaf blocks you would have one diamond and a triangle and a triangle and this creates a larger triangle unit and because I went ahead and flattened those tips I don't have to worry about where my my edges. I've got a flat tip here and a flat tip here. I'm going to sew this one quarter inch seam and press it open so that angle will be good. And then this one goes on. I have a place to match up my flat tip there. And the whole thing ends up as a triangle unit just like this one here. So you see perfect angles. Not to worry. So what we're going to do so if you can imagine, you would have triangle units, those flower hexagon units, bumblebee units, we'll get to those here in a minute. And so you don't actually sew anything with Y seams. You're going to sew this triangle unit to this flower, this to maybe a bumblebee block. Okay, moving on to the B blocks. I've got some strips sewn together here. I was just working with fat quarters. Here again, I used a yellow ombre, so it kind of shades, which is going to just be really sweet in that B. Here we want to do the B body with a little black tip. So I'm just lining it up, triangle, triangle lines, the four and a half inch, the flat tip on the black side. And here, trim him out those little tips off start to build him that will be the bottom part of the body I've got another strip set here now this one you need a trapezoid out of this cut so this one we're going to do the black side against the four and a half inch line the other side against the two inch white dashed line. See them come together. That's good for that. Now we need his head. Now his head is six little cuts. This one's kind of funny because there is some waste in this. You will notice what we need, the two and a half inch triangles, 
the black at the widest part and the yellow towards the what will be the inside. So I'm going to cut here and here. And I'm just going to kind of fudge in. We've got a little line here. And so I can use my two and a half inch line here and I can use that line against that cut edge and it ends up with two flat tips here, which is kind of helpful. So that's garbage. We're just saving these guys. Here, we're gonna do a few of these. more. Because this fabric is ombre and we're getting lighter and lighter, when we arrange these, it almost kind of makes the bee look like it's been painted. Okay. So we could do this guy. Scoop these little guys down here. You won't, you won't be sewing all six of these together. I'm just gonna do three at a time. You'll see here in a minute. We're gonna do some wings, this little background antenna. We'll start with that. Okay, from this strip, here again, we need the black, at what would be the wide end of our triangle. There's one. And here again, I can kind of, because this is a wasted piece, so I'm just going to use my little diamond line there to maximize the most out of the space. And that gives me two flat tips. So we just need two of those. And this is the one that gets fun. We need two and a half inch triangle. Just like that. We need a four and a half inch trapezoid. So here. Taking those tips off. Need two of those. This is a double layer, so get two of those. And now we need a four and a half inch parallelogram. So here I have the ruler. Lined up the edge of the strip here, the two and a half inch line here, and I'm just going like this, taking his tips off. Okay, get most of this stuff out of the way. So you will see. For the B body, we need that guy there. Let's see, we'll scoot him down. So these three would get sewn together as a unit. A little triangle on top of his head. There's his little antenna. These guys fit in here. Okay, all we need are some wings. And those are just cut into to scoot this over just just so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Da -da. Rotate the ruler. 
next cut. Get a few of those. are double layered so you need six of these for each wing and because it's ombre fabric and we have light and dark options just take like three lights and three darks and give us some variety for each one they just go Like this. We're going to do that same thing to the other side. Just like this. Okay, mm -hmm. so here we have these three will go together. Then you're going to do a row like this. We have the body and half the wings in a row like this. We have half the head and the other half of the wings. And then like this, top of the head, his little crown, and then his antenna units. I've actually got that sewn together over here, so I'm going to scoot this stuff to the side. And you will see what I am talking about. Just like that. So all these units together, and we've got some side pieces that make it a full, perfect hexagon. Thanks for watching. Look for my other videos on Fat Quarter Shop's channel. And if you'd like to see some more tips and tricks on how to use this little ruler, come find me at kristamoser.com. <laughs>